And throughout this week, we've seen a surge in confirmed COVID-19 cases here in Bear County. Our local leader is actually issuing a new executive order. In today's leading essay, we are joined by Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf. See if we can pull him up. There he is. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? <laughs> Good to be with you. Judge, good morning. We've seen triple digit increases almost every day for the last week. San Antonio was just listed as one of the four cities with the highest growth of the virus. What is your message to the community right now? Well, it, we're in a very dangerous time. You mentioned that we have 336 patients in the hospital. Uh, when we were really being careful in San Antonio, we only had 93. That's three times more. We've got 111 in ICU and we only had 39 when we were uh, doing well and we've gone from 20 to 49 people that now are on ventilators. That started when we started reopening uh, Texas and people became uh, a bit negligent, I might add. Uh, I would drive around and I would see numerous people in the malls not having their mask on, maybe 60% maybe did. And so with that let down of safeguards, uh, We've seen this virus spread, and it's a deadly virus to many people that have health problems. Uh, so we had to take some action to try to turn this around. And we've had viewers reach out to us, speculate that the reason for that jump in the virus cases is because of the protests. And they've written us and called us saying that you guys, the local leaders, are just punishing hardworking business owners. So what is your response to them in regards to the reason for the jump in regards to punishing the hardworking business owners? Well, first, first of all, we're not punishing anybody, any employer that has any regard whatsoever for their employees or their customers would require that face mask. We don't intend to levy any fan, fan, uh, fine unless somebody is just totally off the board. Uh, we need compliance. We need support of the employers and we need support of the people that are going in those stores. Uh, so, yes, that needed to be done. As with respect to the protest, I was down there at least four different times uh, watching the protest, and the vast majority had face masks on. They were outside. That's a la being outside is less dangerous in, con uh, in, in converting the disease to someone else. It's when they're in a building that becomes dangerous. Closed environment, air circulating through the uh, air conditioning systems, that's the danger point. In the past, local leaders have said that uh, more testing is needed, and we actually had a viewer call us and complain there just isn't enough testing. The lines are long, and they're seeing that there isn't any social distancing going, at, going on on some of these sites. So what does the availability, availability for testing look like here in San Antonio? Well, uh, we were originally uh, testing uh, a 1,000 or two a day. Uh, we built it up. Now we have the capacity to test uh, 5,000, 5,200 people every day. Uh, that's out at the Coliseum, that's at Texas Med Clinic, other uh, clinics that are participating with us. So our capacity to test has grown way up. Uh, we've even gone into uh, communities with a mobile test site. Uh, sometimes those have got overloaded, I might say, and, uh, and, and we weren't able to complete as many as we wanted there. I must say to people that if the priority is people that have had symptoms, you need to go get tests. If you've been around someone in your family or someone at work, you need to get a test. It's open to anybody. Anybody can go, but those are the two primary uh, groups that should be lining up and making sure that they get tested. All right, Judge, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to check in with you again at 8.30. A lot more questions to talk to you about. All right, thank you. Thank you. 8.10, 79 degrees out. No more.